Have you ever wondered how much the world's most famous paintings are worth? And what makes them the world's most famous paintings anyways? What's the mysterious story behind them? You're going to be amazed, so get ready. Artistic expression has always impressed people. And most people argue that art is valuable and there is no amount of money to quantify the value of an artist's skill. Now, despite this attitude, art is still sold at auctions and galleries for huge sums of money. Hello and welcome to Demystified Daily. In today's video, we're going to describe the seven most expensive paintings sold at auction, along with their curious history. But before we get into the video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Portrait number one. Portrait of Dr. Gatchet. Vincent van Gogh made this masterpiece, which happened to be his only etching, just six weeks before his death. And this masterpiece sold for $82.5 million, which in today's dollars is worth $163 million in 1990. Rio Satio, known for buying expensive works of art, bought the painting and the buyer was a Japanese businessman who later said he would cremate the painting with his own body. But that was fortunately not the case when he died and Van Gogh quietly returned to Europe. The artwork depicts a doctor. Gadget took care of Van Gogh on the last day. And Dr. Gadget was an important figure in Van Gogh's life because he was a homeopathic doctor and artist. And so the painting features the doctor. Gatchet sat with his elbows on the table, and according to a sad expression of our time, the picture is so miserable that it explains its high value. Number six, the Bal du Moulin de la Galette. While many impressionists worked outdoors or under the sky, Pierre Auguste Renoir is particularly famous. For his outdoor portrayals and the Bal du Moulin de Galette is his. It's one of his most famous works of art. Set in a bustling outdoor dance hall in central Paris, this large-scale painting gives a glimpse into life and freedom in France's Belle Epoque. This painting by Pierre Auguste Renard is a small version of the image displayed at the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. Renoir painted this work in oil on canvas in 1876, and the painting sold for a whopping $78.1 million, or $154 million today. And this, illustrates, this illustration is one of the many famous masterpieces of the real Impressionists. This scene depicted is a, soul, is a normal Sunday afternoon at the Moulin de la Galette in Paris. Luxuriously dressed, the Parisians eat, drink, and talk in the evening. This painting is currently owned by a Swiss collector. Number 5. Nukush. Amadeo Modigliani painted many women throughout his career. They were friends, partners, friends' wives, bistro acquaintances, lovers, and worshippers. And in some cases, their identities remain unknown, as is the case of Nukosh. In 2018, this work by Amadeo Modigliani sold for $157 million. Now, the artwork was completed in 1917 when it caused considerable controversy. Quote, it combines Modigliani's revolutionary ability to ponder the face and body with an new all modern that combines 19th century geometry and post cubism and particular analysis of Brancusi and African sculpture. Now, this painting represents a naked woman and is Ahmed's largest painting. The artwork is about 58 inches long. And when these paintings were exhibited in 1917, police had to close the expedition due to their taboo nature. And today, Amadeo's work is recognized around the world. Amadeo has inspired, but was inspired by the ideas of the Italian Renaissance and Mannerist paintings. 
Number 4. Les Femmes d'Alger, version O. Perhaps the most influential artist of the 20th century, Pablo Picasso, is best known for pushing cubism and breaking two-dimensional picture screens to convey three-dimensional space. Inspired by African and Iberian art, he also contributed to the rise of surrealism and expressionism. Picasso's extensive work has grown into over 20,000 paintings, prints, drawings, sculptures, pottery, stage art, and costume design. Picasso, the last of his series, painted this painting as a homage to his favorite artist. Picasso greatly admired Eugène Delacroix and was inspired by him. The series Le Femme d'Alger was painted from 1954 to 1955. And in 2015, the painting was sold to former Prime Minister Qatar Hamad bin Jassim bin Jaber Al Thani for $179 million. And the artwork shows bright colors and women dressed in ornate. You can see an abstract approach because the shapes are represented by overlapping brush strokes. Number three, interchange. William de Koenig has become synonymous with the post-World War II art movement known as Abstract Expressionism. Many artists like de Kooning felt disillusioned and hurt by what happened when the world was about to return to war times. And de Kooning's work represents the ugly reality of this new world. One of the best abstract expressionist works is Interchange by William de Kooning. Completed in 1955, this painting represents everything that the abstract expressionism movement symbolizes. And according to sources, Willem named the painting after his place of residence, New York, when he painted this masterpiece. The artwork features gesture marks drawn in a pattern that indicates that the woman is sitting in the center. Color strokes do not provide clear figurative lines. And in 2015, this painting sold for $300 million. And it was a billionaire hedge fund manager, Kenneth C. Griffith, who bought the masterpiece. The artwork will be published at the Art Institute of Chicago. Number two, the card players. Are these paintings made at the entrance of the 20th century worth the money? Artist Paul Cezanne influenced cubism and shaped abstract art as we know it, with Picasso even calling him the father of all of us. But $250 million is a fortune, said art appraiser Victor Wiener, who was consulted by Lloyds of London in 2006 when Steve Wynn stabbed Picasso in his elbow. But you're talking a course in art history, and there's probably a card player there. That's a big picture. He said for months that there were rumors about this sale. And now everyone starts at this high price, which changes the overall structure of the art market. The Qatari royal family has purchased this highly regarded work of art. And the artwork is currently on display at the Musée d'Orsay. And we know how frustrating and shy Cezanne was. He had a wife, a few trusted friends, servants, gardeners, and peasants who all served as his sitter and patiently posed for him dozens of times. He said, I only liked drawing people when I was with people. In a nutshell, his painting session was long, so the pose had to be easy. And this applies to all the models sitting with their hands on their knees or their elbows on the table. The card players are no exception. The sitters are ordinary locals. The player on the left is the gardener, Pelé Alexander while the other character is Pauline Paulette. This version is described as the most well-known, most frequently duplicated, the smallest in the series, and somewhat controversial as the most monumental and sophisticated of the five. The monumental nature of the work embodies Cezanne's declared goal of creating a solid and long-lasting thing like the art of a museum. 
and this series of painting by Paul Cezanne in the 1890s contained five works of art. Today, works of art can be seen as painting, and Cezanne's paintings are known for their lack of drama and intensity. Number one, the most expensive painting ever sold in the world was the Salvator Mundi, and many paintings are called the most controversial. And the Salvador Mundi is only the last to be given that title. The artwork was subject to scrutiny after being sold for a mind-blowing $450.3 million in 2007, making it the highest pride pace for an artwork at the auction house. Now, what makes it so controversial is the fact that it was actually identified as a previously lost Leonardo da Vinci painting. The interest could theoretically be related to the seemingly exorbitant amount of paintings with some serious flaws designed to keep auction prices down. And these flaws can be seen in Salvador's poor condition, its attribution conflicts, and its unidentified history. Now, Leonardo da Vinci is a well-known name, and his work has been recognized for decades. But the auction was scheduled after the illustration was discovered as an original work of his in 2015. Scratch that. The auction was scheduled after the illustration was discovered as an original work in 2005. And before its discovery, it was widely believed that the painting had been lost since 1603. His discovery was enthusiastically accepted in the art scene. The painting sold for $450.3 million after being auctioned at Christie's in New York. And it was purchased by the Saudi Arabian Minister of Culture, Badr bin Abdullah Al Sud. The original Renaissance painting is said to depict Jesus Christ. Also in the photo, Christ is raising his hand to give a blessing with his left hand, holds the Globus Cruciger. This painting is also said to depict the female version of the Mona Lisa. So it is best to focus on the value of the artwork based on its past realized value once it has been sold. And auctions form the backbone of the art market. But on the other hand, a significant proportion of art dealers are private and prices are not systematically disclosed. So you tell us, do you feel like all high value art sales should be publicly revealed? Please share your opinions with us. We hope this video will help you gain knowledge about these paintings worth in history. We will be back with more informational videos soon. So until then, stay tuned. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Till then, talk soon.